Hello children. And it is time for your computer class. Today in our computer class, we are going to do the back exercises of lesson number 5 from your computer book knowing Windows 7. So let's begin. The first exercise, tick the correct answer. Number 1. An operating system developed by Microsoft Corporation. The right option here is Windows. Number two, the long bar at the bottom of the desktop is. Children, it is taskbar. Number three, a menu that provides quick access to all software programs. It is the start menu. So write a tick mark in front of option A, start. Number four, the process of starting or restarting a computer is called, it is called booting. So put a tick mark in front of option A, booting. The process of starting or restarting a computer is called booting. Now see the next exercise, fill in the blanks. Number one, a dash is a rectangular area surrounded by a frame, a window. So right here in the fill up, window. A window is a rectangular area surrounded by a frame. Number two, on the left corner of the taskbar, there is a dash. Start button. So right here in the fill up, start button. On the left corner of the taskbar, there is a start button. Number three, dash menu provides quick access to all the software programs. Start menu. Right here in the fill up, start. Start menu provides quick access to all the software programs. See number four. Any icon is opened by dash a mouse. Double clicking a mouse. So you will write here double clicking. When you double click on the mouse, any icon can be opened. Any icon is opened by double clicking a mouse. Number five. Dash displays a button for each open window on your screen. It is taskbar. So right here in the fill up, taskbar. Taskbar displays a button for each open window on your screen. Number six, the process of dash and dash a computer is known as booting. So children, you all know that the process of starting and restarting a computer is known as booting. So right here in the first fill up, starting and right in the second fill up, restarting. The process of starting and restarting a computer is known as booting. So we have done fill in the blanks also. Now move to next exercise. It is true and false. Number one, Windows 7 is an operating system developed by IBM. False. So write here F because it is an incorrect statement. Number two, the process of starting or restarting a computer is known as booting. It is a correct statement. So write here T, T for true. 
Number three, the small arrow present on the desktop is called point mouse pointer. Yes, absolutely correct. So write here T, T for true. Number four, the taskbar is located at the top of the desktop. No, it is an incorrect statement. So write here F. Number five, maximize button is used to close all the windows. No, it is an incorrect statement. So write here also F, F for false. Last statement, number six, you can explore the start menu through start button. Correct. So write here T, T for true. Children, now the next exercise D and E, you all will be writing in your computer notebook also. Next exercise is exercise D, define the following. Number one is booting. So children, write down the definition of booting. Booting is the process of starting and restarting a computer. What is booting? Booting is the process of starting and restarting a computer. Number two, desktop. Desktop is a work area where we work with our program and documents. So what is a desktop? Desktop is the work area where we work with our program and documents. Number three, program window. A program window is a rectangular area on the desktop surrounded by a frame and title bar at the top. Read and understand it carefully, children. What is program window? A program window is a rectangular area on the desktop surrounded by a frame and title bar at the top. Now let us move to exercise E. Answer the following questions. This question again children, you will be writing the answer in the book as well as in your computer notebook also. Your question number one is, what is Windows 7? Write any one function of it. Write down the answer. Windows 7 is the most popularly used operating system developed by Microsoft Corporation. It controls the overall activities of the computer. Starting and restarting is one of the main function of Windows 7. Question number two. What does a taskbar contain and where is it located? The answer to this question is taskbar usually contains start button on its left corner and clock on its right corner. It is located at the bottom of the desktop. Question number three. What is the use of start button? Answer to this question is children, start button is used to open start menu which is used to start program and can launch any of the windows features. So these were your questions and answers of this lesson. Now let us move to match. Exercise F is match the following. Number one is booting. Now see, number one will be matched with D, starting and restarting computer. Because booting is starting and restarting of a computer. So right here in front of D, number one. As this D is a match of number one. Number two is Windows. Match number two with G, operating system. Windows are operating system. Number three is 
mouse pointer. Look at E, a small arrow on the desktop. So match number three with E. Now see the next one, ribbon. It is groups of related commands in tabs. Ribbons are groups of related commands in tabs. So match C with number four. Now see the next one, number five, start menu. And you will match number five with F. Provides access to all programs. Number six is title bar. You will match it with B. The topmost bar on program window. The last one, task bar. Match it with A. Write number seven in front of A. Contains show desktop button. We have done match the following. Now it is time for your application based question. Your question is children, your teacher has asked you to make all the open windows transparent on the desktop. Which button will you use? It is show desktop or you can write arrow peak button. So you will write here in the answer to your application based question show desktop or arrow peak button.